moral of the story is I chose a half measure when I should have gone all the way. I'll never make that mistake again. This is Jonathan Banks, a veteran character actor best known for his Emmy-nominated role as Mike Ehrmantraut on Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. What the... Son of a... Jonathan's first role in film or television actually made the rounds a few years back when someone posted it on YouTube. He played a clueless guy in a 1974 informational short film about menstruation. So what's so different about you? I got my first period today. But that role was kind of an anomaly. Most of the time, his major roles would fall under one of two categories. First, the criminal. Second from the left. Are you sure, Allison? I'm sure. Seriously, he played a lot of criminals, like an escaped convict in Little House on the Prairie, a prisoner in Stir Crazy with Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, and a hitman in Beverly Hills Cop. On the other side of the coin, Jonathan would often play someone in law enforcement, like a cop or a sheriff. Ah, be careful, Frank, you might tear your arm off. <laughs> you want me to put the cuffs on him? <laughs> but one role he kept coming back to, and one that seems like he was meant to play, was the homicide detective. Hello, Lieutenant Vitelli, homicide. Especially if he was the classic hard-nosed homicide detective. You know, the guy who's been around the block once or twice. One of his law enforcement roles was in the 1987 series Wise Guy, in which he played an agent working for a division of the FBI. The role earned Jonathan his first Emmy nomination. Into the 90s and 2000s, Jonathan continued to appear in strong supporting roles in everything you've ever seen ever, ever. He did a little sword fighting, in Highlander, he played a vengeful humanoid in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and he was one of many guest stars on Tales from the Crypt who met a gruesome, campy death. Eventually came Mike Ehrmantraut in Breaking Bad. In a show with a heavy focus on the gray areas between good and evil, Mike was a perfect fit. Sure, he's a criminal, but he has his redeemable qualities, and he doesn't apologize for his actions. Maybe Jonathan's entire acting career has led to this character, for which he's now been nominated for four times in two different shows. It makes sense that with a long resume of playing just the criminal or just the cop, his best and most memorable role is a little bit of both. 